Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, welcome out here to St. Louis, Missouri for the next stop out here on Stadium Championship Series East. But before we can begin this evening's Monster Jam action out here in St. Louis, Missouri, we would love to thank all of those who have served our country. Monster Jam is built right here in the USA. And we're super grateful and thankful for us living the greatest nation on earth and have its strength, freedom, and resilience to do all of these shows for you fans in attendance. If you've served in the United States military, whether it be the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard, please rise and thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America. This Evening's national anthem is going to be presented by the Avengers Racing and the Steel Titans Sports League. So everybody, he's going to check out these channels. They are really cool. Now everybody, please rise and remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem by Avengers Racing.
St. Louis, Missouri, and you guys get down and stay with me because this is Monster Jam. Mmm, 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 Coming out to the track first, representing Monster Jam's newest truck out of Paris, Texas, last year's Arena Series West winner, this is Tristan England in the JCB Sigatron. Mm -hmm.
Coming out to the track, last last year's stadium tour blue champion representing the black and green wrecking machine. This is Tyler Medinga in Grave Digger. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, both drops flip over. Mm -hmm. Sean Gordon with a miracle save. And John Gordon in bad company will advance on into round number two. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, it's now time to kick off round two. Coming out first, advancing in from round one. This is Michael Pagliarulo in Kraken. Versus the other lane representing the Mohawk Nation. This is Bryce Kenny in the Break Blitz Mohawk Warrior. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Next up, representing the Black and Green Wrecking Machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Versus the other lane advancing in from round one, this is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Who will get the win and advance on onto the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Upset right there is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco will get the win. Next up, your 12 time world finals champion out of Paxton, Illinois. This is Tom Mentz and Max D. Versus in the other lane, advancing in from round one, this is Colton R in the Black Pearl. Who will go on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be Tom Mentz in Max D. It is now time for the final race out here in round number two out of Iram, Georgia. This is John Gordon in Bad Company versus the other lane representing Moss Jam's newest truck out of Paris, Texas. This is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Who will win and go on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. John Gordon in bad company as the JCB Digatron goes over. It is now time to kick off the semifinals. We've got Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco versus Bryce Kenny in the Great Flips Mohawk Warrior. Who will win and go to the final round? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, it's set, go. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Who will go in the final round and face off against Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior? Will it be Tom Mintz and Max D? Or will it be John Gordon in Bad Company? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be John Gordon in Bad Company. Bryce Kenny, the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. You know, he's been fast all 
night in. You know, he's just going to continue that speed to get his second racing win in a row. He won racing last weekend in St. Louis, in um, Houston. And now he's got another win out here in St. Louis. It's a great job out here for Bryce Kenny. He's great for small corner to pick up the first 12 points here of the evening. Alrighty, everybody. It is now time for the great clips for our second competition here of the evening. The Great Clip Skills Challenge. Each driver is going to get two opportunities to perform their best maneuvers on two wheels. Or a donut. Two of the maneuvers you're making these drivers down here on this track are stoppies, moonwalks, poppers, slap wheelies, slap, sky wheelies, slap wheelies, bicycles, or maybe even a combination of these moves. So, St. Louis, get loud! If you are ready for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out first out of the metal shop from Delmar, Delaware, this is Ryan Disseroon in Shaker. Nicer slap wheelie. Doing some sort of a front flip right there. That's a bit crazy. Nicer stoppy. He's going to set it down, that's going to be the end of the run out for Ryan Disharoon and Shaker. For Ryan Disharoon and Shaker is going to be at 6.095. That is going to be your leader to kick things off out here for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out next, out of El Paso, Texas, representing for Lucas Oil Products, this is Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. <laughs> Everybody get those trucker arms going. <laughs> Nice there, verse, verse wheelie really going down the ramp. One more attempt left to go. Nice little sky wheelie into a little slap wheelie. That's going to get a run for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. For Lindsey Reed and the Lucas Stabilizer is going to be a 7.199. And that is going to be good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Coming out next, your three time world finals champion. This is Todd Duke in Megalodon. Mm hmm. Nigeria has got a bicycle into a moonwalk. Great save right there from Todd Leduc. One more attempt left to go. He's got it into another moonwalk. Wow. He walks down, that's going to begin the run out here for Todd LeDuc in Megalodon. Your score for Todd LeDuc in Megalodon is going to be a 9.219. Your brand new leader is going to be Todd LeDuc in Megalodon. Coming out next out of Deltona, Florida, this is Matt Pagliarulo in Jester. Mm -hmm. Donut with a little save right there for Matt Pagliarulo. Wow! You know, the driver's got the option to do one donut, and Matt Pagliarulo is going to take advantage of that. Score score for Matt Pagliarulo and Jess is going to be a 9 of 5.910. Good enough for fourth place. Your leader is going to remain Todd LaDuke in Megalodon. Coming out next. Out of Holstein, Florida, this is Michael Pagliarulo in Kraken. Mm -hmm. 
Nice third bite score right there from Michael. One more attempt left to go. Nice, another nice little bicycle mess and began to run out here for Michael Pagliarulo in track game. Mm -hmm. Score for Michael Pagliarulo in track is going to be at 6.132, good enough for fourth place. Your leader is going to remain top with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Nice there, bicycle into a little sidewalk state. One more attempt left to go. Nice there, tombstone off the back flip ramp. He's gonna set it down and that's gonna begin the run out of Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Mm. Mm. score for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger is gonna be at 9.003, getting up for second place. Your leader is gonna remain top with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next, this is Polkadar in the Black Pearl. Mm, 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 Nice there, reverse popper off the race lane here for Cole Bernard. And he's gonna set it down, one more attempt left to go. Nice bicycle, and that's gonna begin the run out for Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Mm -hmm. Your score for Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl is going to be a 7.813, and that's gonna begin up for third place. Your leader is gonna remain top with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next, out of Paris, Texas, representing Monster Jam's newest truck, this is Tristan England in the JCB Zigatron. Tristan trying to walk out of stopping, but he sadly sets it down early. One more attempt left to go. Mm -hmm. Nice, there's comboing it into a wheelie. Wow. Mm -hmm. And comboing it back down into a stoppy. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna roll it over right there, and that's gonna begin to run for Tristan England in the JCB Ziggatron. Score for Tristan England in the JCB Ziggatron is gonna be an 8.4. 5-1, picking up for third place. Your score, your leader will still remain to be top with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next, representing the crazy bull out of Fort Bill, Indiana, this is Jamie Garner in El Toro Loco. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Down one more attempt left to go. <laughs> nice popper off the car. <laughs> And that's going to be the end of the run out here for Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. For Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco, it's going to be a 7.197. Not enough for the lead. Your leader soon remains hot with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next, after 12 time World Finals champion and his final competitive season from Axton, Illinois, this is Tom Mentz in Max D. Tom getting you fans hyped up for his skills challenge run. I'm gonna do the maximum moonwalk here off the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Down one more attempt left to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice is gonna nail it the maximum moonwalk here off the racing lane. Mm -hmm. Back towards Megalodon, and that's gonna be the end of the run out for Tom Menson, Max D. The score for Tom Menson, Max D is gonna be a 9.002, beating up for third place. Your leader is still gonna remain Abu Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next out of Iron Georgia, this is John Gordon in Bad Company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice here moonwalking it here off that step up ramp. Walking into the top of the step up ramp, one more attempt left to go. Nice and bicycle, and that's gonna be the end of the run. I'm John Gordon in Bad Company. John Gordon in Bad Company is getting eight point one zero five. Not enough for the lead. Your leader is going to remain top with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out last, representing the Mohawk Nation, this is Bryce Kenny and the Great Cliffs Mohawk Warrior.
Nice, they're comboing it into a wheelie. Wow. One more attempt left to go. Nice, they're slap wheelie. On top of the pot, on top of the step up ramp, and that's gonna begin the run for Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Mm. Your score for Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior is gonna be an 8.993, which means your Great Clips Skills Challenge winner is gonna be none other than Togla Duke in Megalodon. Congratulations, Jared, to Togla Duke in Megalodon for this win. Todd has had some struggles. As of recently in the two Texas shows we did the past two weekends, he had some struggles and hadn't had the best of luck. Well now he's coming out to St. Louis and he did awesome out here. Out here to out here this out this this evening. And he's gonna pick up this win. He had an amazing bicycle to moonwalk two times and one of them even is like jumped it over this ramp and then almost like a somersault. So just great job out to Todd LeDuc in Megalodon for capturing this win. Hope he's a start for things to come for LeDuc here this season. Let's hope he can catch up and get some decent points and try to take that top spot from Tyler Meninga. Alrighty everybody, it is now half time so go get, go get your food, your water, your drinks, your snacks and come back in half an hour here and for the, for the final competition here of the afternoon, the Great Clip Skills uh, for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Alrighty Marshall Jam fans, it's now time for our final competition here of the night, the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Each driver is going to get two minutes to tear up the track to get their biggest and best moves. Some of the stuff you may see these drivers guys are on this track are donuts, technical maneuvers, huge air, crazy saves, a backflip, or maybe something wild, crazy, new, we've never even seen before. Some of the stuff the judges are looking for in judging these freestyle runs are creativity, momentum, breathtaking saves, huge vertical air, wow factors. These fill all obstacles in the completion of the time. If a driver does not complete the first 30 hey. seconds here of the run, Run, um, they will be unable to qualify for a score. So, St. Louis, Missouri, get out for me one last time. If you're ready for the BKT Sires freestyle competition. Coming out first out of Deltona, Florida, this is Matt Peck with Rulo and Jester. Mm -hmm. Mind you, the timer does not start until that driver makes their first hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice to slap link for Matt to kick off the run. Mm -hmm. Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. 
Mmm. And he's going to nail it. Nice here job for Matt Pagley Ruo. He's gonna save it. Thirty seconds are left. Good enough for the lead to kick things off after the BKT Tires freestyle competition. Coming on deck to the Mohawk Nation, this is Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. <laughs> Nice technical maneuvers gonna kick off the run. <laughs> Morgan, Morgan, backflips 
time. Mm, mm, he's gonna nail it. 30 seconds or less. Great save there, Ryan just turns him a great run. Now it's gonna be doing the run out of Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. Your score for Ryan Disharoon in Shaker is gonna be a 9.281. That is gonna be getting up for the lead. Your Brady lead is gonna be Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. Coming out next. Out of El Paso, Texas, representing for Lucas Oil Products, this is Lindsey Reed in Lucas Stabilizer. <laughs> okay, get those truck arms going for Lindsey Reed. <laughs> here for the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp and she's going to nail it. 30 seconds or less. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Looks like he's lying up here for the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Oh no, he just under rotates it. That's going to be the other run. Now here for Tristan England and the JCB Digatron. What an unfortunate ending to the run. For Tristan England and the JCB Digatron is going to be in a 5.991. Only going to be good enough. Now here for fifth place, your leader is still going to remain Ryan Distroon in Shaker. Coming out next. Out of Fort Bill, Indiana, representing the Crazy Bull. This is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Mm, 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 mm. On that smoke out of the nostrils, getting ready for his run. Mm, 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 Lining it up here for the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Mm -hmm. Under rotates in a bit, but we'll get it back in all four BKT tires. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds are left. Nice there, Skyly off the eight pack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice there, save off the cars. Great donuts, and that's gonna begin the run for Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco is gonna be an 8.495, getting up for second place. Your leader is gonna remain Ryan Dishroon in Shaker. Coming out next out of Holstein, Florida, this is Michael Agli Rulo in Kraken. Nicer job for Mike. 
Bicycle, and that's gonna begin the run for Mike Pagliarulo in Kraken. For Mike Pagliarulo in Kraken is going to be an 8.001. Only getting up for third place. Your leader is gonna remain Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. Coming out next, this is Kopenar in the Black Pearl. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
And that's going to be down the run out here for Tabla Duke in Megalodon. Your score for Tabla Duke in Megalodon is going to be a 9.285. Your brand new leader is going to be Tabla Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next out of I Run Georgia, this is John Gordon in Bad Company. <laughs> Seconds left. And that's going to be the end of time out here for John Gordon and Bad Company. Your score for John Gordon and Bad Company is going to be an 8.419. Nine enough for the lead. Your leader is going to remain Tabla Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next, your current Stadium Tour East points leader representing the Black and Green Wrecking Machine. This is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Thirty seconds left. 
Duke in Megalodon. Coming out last in his final competitive season here at Monster Jam, and your 12 top World Finals champion out of Axton, Illinois, this is Tom Bench in Max D. <laughs> Tom Benson, Max D is going to be an 8.500, which means your BKT Tires freestyle winner is going to be none other than Todd LaDuke in Megalodon. Man, Todd just had a really awesome night out here in freestyle. I mean, he was going big, sending it. He had saves, technical maneuvers, a donut, epic backflip off the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Huge air. I mean, he did practically everything he could on this track and all the obstacles. And just what a great run out here from Todd LaDuke and Megalodon. He's had some struggles these past couple weeks in Houston. And now to get this win, it means a lot to him. Him so he can try to catch up and try to take home this series win. So just, just what a great job and what a great Night out here for Cobble Duke and Megalodon. All right, everybody, your overall event championship winner has been decided after getting a total of uh, uh, getting a total of ten points in the JCB racing. <clears throat> God bless me. After getting a total of ten points in the JCB racing competition, ten points in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and eight points in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. For a total of 28 points, your overall event championship winner is going to be none other than Tom Mintz in Max D. Man, congratulations out to Tom Mintz in Max D. This is now his second, uh, this is his second uh, overall event championship win out here in a row. You know, he ended up winning overall last weekend in Houston, and now he's got it out here in St. Louis. 
So it's split in the um, overall event championship wins between Gravedigger and Max D. Gravedigger was Madeira Beach in San Antonio, and Max D out here in Houston and St. Louis. Tom had a really great night tonight. You know, Tom, he didn't win anything, but he was consistent throughout all three competitions, which will get him the win. So just congratulations to Tom Tom mentioned Max D for this overall event championship win out here. He had a really just great night out here. You know, what a nice way out here for his final ever time in St. Louis. What a great way to go out with the overall event championship win. Alrighty, we're going to go and take a head in the next stop. We'll be doing it. We're coming up soon. We'll be taking a look here at the, uh, the season standings near this and tonight's event results and where the next stop on this tour will be. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at the results from this after, from this evening's event out here in St. Louis, Missouri. Here's the results for the JCB Racing Competition and the overall event championship. And then here are the results for the Great Clip Skills Challenge and the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Right here, and you're just taking a look here at the overall or the season standings right now. Tyler Meniga and Gravedigger will be in first with 126 points. Tom Mintz and Max D will be in second place with 114. Third place is Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl with 93. Fifth place is Todd LeDuc and Megalodon with 89. Uh, fourth, fifth place is a tie between um, Tristan England and John Gordon. But well, fifth place will go to um, fifth place will go to John Gordon in Bad Company. Sixth place will go to Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Tristan will finish lower than John Gordon because John Gordon got more points in in, in um, today's event than Tristan. So John will be ahead of Tristan. And and then in seventh place and, and then in seventh place will be Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips and Mohawk Warrior. Eighth place is Nick Pagli uh, is the Michael Pagli Rulo and Kraken. Ninth place is Ryan Disharoon and Shaker. Tenth place is Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Oh no wait. Tenth place is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Eleventh place Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Then rounding out the bottom will be Matt Pagley, Rulo, and Jester in 12th place with 25 points. It's a close battle at the top with only 12 points, separating 1st and 2nd place with Tyler and Tom. That is a close battle as they're back and forth with each other. Tyler didn't have the best of events they wanted to in, in tonight in St. Louis, so you know he's really hoping to go into the next stop and try to expand his points lead on Tom Menz. It's really close from the top to the near, to the, from like third place to the middle of the pack. It is super close there between Cole, Tristan, Todd, John Gordon, and even Bryce and, um, and Mike are also really close right there. So, you know, it's really interesting. Bryce Kenny is really low in the points right now. Bryce Kenny is really hoping for a great event and the next stop as he desperately needs this. He's really low. This is not where he wants to be. He's having some struggles this year. He's hoping to do better. And then um, we have also near at the bottom, we have Lindsey Reed. She is also going to do better as well. Well, and try to jump up higher in the standings. And then Matt really needs a morale booster. Matt Pagley Rulo really needs to get some good, some good scores in the coming shows as he is suffering really low near the bottom out here. Here, here is, he's only got 25 points. He is a very long distance off from, just from second to last place, and even the first place. He's over 100 points behind. Matt is really looking for some good events so he can try to catch up. This tour's next stop will not be until next Saturday, February 3rd, which will be in Indianapolis, Indiana. And we'll be heading to Indianapolis, which will be a Steel Titans 2 show. So this will be our first Steel Titans 2 show of the tour right here. So, you know, it's going to be interesting out here. It's going to be a bit of a different track, more of a St. Louis style track compared to the paperclip one we've been seeing all 
all tour long on all season long on this tour. So that would be an interesting change that we'll be able to see how the drivers will adjust to it and at the next stop. So until then, everybody be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you guys can be notified before more Monster Jam action comes your way. Alrighty, bye bye everybody. Have a god blessed night, and we'll see you all soon for some more Monster Jam action. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>